In this video, we're going to give you a short introduction of the business model restarter. What is, what is that, Lars Jakob? Well, it's really a, it's a form of process model, which means that it's a way of thinking about the process of doing sustainable business model innovation in practice. Behind this process lies an idea that behind every innovation, uh, there needs to be some faces. A first phase, trying to kind of understand who you are in the beginning. Then, how can you change? Uh, and what part should you change? When sh should you change uh, a business model? And, uh, and how? So any innovation process is really a challenge. You, you don't just choose to change and then you do it. You have to understand what to change, how to change, how fast, and who can help you do this in practice inside the organization. So it's even a form of organizational challenge. Managers then, who wants to innovate, they need to take a, a deep look at themselves. And they need to take a deep look at the environment, the competitors. They need to look into the customers and their needs. They need to look into new regulations that might come. And they need to transform uh, the organization using that information. There can be many different drivers why companies start an innovation process. Sometimes it could be the consumers who say that we no longer want to eat these kinds of products or we will no longer allow you to transport your uh, fish to China and uh, fillet it over there and then send it back. We want it locally sourced. Other times it can be regulation. It can be governments saying that you can no longer produce in this way or you can no longer emit as much and so on. And the nature of this innovation process will also be a function of why it takes place in the first place. This is not only about the incumbent companies that has had one well-functioning business model for a long time and that needs to change. It's also about entrepreneurs that want to enter a market. Maybe an entrepreneur that's defined a problem that it can solve for an incumbent company. So here, entering this, this process of innovation for a sustainable business model are both the incumbents and the entrepreneurs. And the business model restarter, as a framework, tries to capture both of these kinds of challenges and it divides the challenge of innovating for sustainable business models into four phases. Recognize, rethink, reinvent and reorganize. In the recognized part, it's important for the manager to understand how it creates, delivers and captures value. And it needs to identify its shadow side and the sunny side. This phase of the innovation process is often underestimated because in order to really understand how to change, you have to understand why you should change. And in order to understand why you should change, you have to understand the strengths and weaknesses of your existing business models and the externalities associated with the business model. When you're finished with the re recognized part of the process, you can turn the attention into the rethink. How can we rethink in order to redesign the business model? Are there new uh, ways of thinking value creation, value delivery and value capture? This is really the creative part of the innovation process. This is where all the good and perhaps less good, all the crazy and perhaps less crazy ideas should be allowed to flourish. This is when we think about how might we alternatively look. For instance, by moving from products to services or finding new alliances, or digging into the materiality, the, the, the main concerns, the main issues that you need to handle, and see how, how can this be wrapped into the, the business model? How can we take these problems and wrap a business model around it? This is the starting point for the third phase, reinventing the business model. This is when you have to select the ideas that have the best chance of succeeding in the market. And this is the time to start testing. It's the time to develop pilots and to go talk to your customers, understand better what the new business model might look like. By understanding better your customers, how they like these new solutions, but also what these kinds of solutions will require from your company. What will it mean in-house for how you work? Uh, is an important phase in, in getting closer to the new business model in practice. So through these phases, you're giving the organization a restart from recognizing, from rethinking, now into reinvent. And then 
when you have found the things that really works, then you can move into reorganization. For instance, when companies go from selling products based on an ownership idea to providing access to services, this very often leads to quite substantial changes in the organization. You used to be a sales organization, now you've become a service organization. That means that people go to work every day in your company and they do something that is different from what they used to do. So actually reorganizing in a way that ensures that you can deliver along the lines of what your new business model suggests is absolutely important. In this video, we've introduced you to the business model restarter. All companies need to innovate from time to time, sometimes big innovations and sometimes more incremental innovations. And they need to manage the processes of how to do it. And the business model restarter allows you to think systematically about the phases involved in such a process.